Lucy! For those of you who don't know me, my name is Lucy and I'm one of the children's interns here at St John's. We're now definitely into the summer holidays, which means some of you might have been lucky enough to go away. Um, I'm currently in Edinburgh at the moment, which, although it's been a bit rainy, has been really nice. Today for our Bible reading we're going to be looking at Acts chapter 9 verses 1 to 9 and it's basically where Saul is converted. We're now going to read through the Bible passage. Meanwhile Saul was still breathing out murderous threats against the Lord's disciples. He went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues in Damascus so that if he found any there who belonged to the way, whether men or women, he might take them as prisoners to Jerusalem. As he neared Damascus on his journey, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice say to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Who are you, Lord? Saul asked. I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting, he replied. Now get up and go into the city, and you'll be told what you must do. The men travelling with Saul stood there speechless. They heard the sound but did not see anyone. Saul got up from the ground, but when he opened his eyes he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand into Damascus, and for three days he was blind and did not eat or drink anything. Now I think this is an amazing story as it shows just how powerful God is. Saul was somebody who really hated Christians, but because of an encounter he had with Jesus, he was able to completely turn his life around and a bit later we end up hearing about how he helped so many other people become Christians. I wonder how we can use Saul's story to help us understand God a bit more. Maybe it shows that no matter how mean or nasty somebody is, God still loves them and wants to have a relationship with them. Or even that if we feel completely like God can't love us, that he definitely can. Finally, we could use Saul's later life to help encourage and inspire us to tell more of our friends about Jesus or bring them to church with us. We're going to pray now, so if it helps you, you can shut your eyes with me or you can put your hands together. Dear God, thank you so much that you sent your son Jesus to die for us and thank you for Paul's amazing story about how he became Christian and how many people he helped to become Christian. We pray that you'd help us um, to create opportunities where we could invite our friends to church and tell them more about Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much guys for joining me. I hope you had fun and we'll see you next week. Bye!